Hello, Matrix, and welcome to our series of videos on the perfect market. There are two ways in which profit maximization occurs, using marginal revenue and marginal costs, alternatively using total revenue and total costs. Today's lesson focuses specifically on marginal revenue and marginal costs using tables, graphs and explanations. We're going to kick off today's lesson with the aid of a marginal revenue and marginal cost table, so let's start off by recapping our definitions. Marginal revenue refers to the additional income earned when an additional unit is sold. Marginal cost refers to the increase in total cost when an additional unit is produced. Profits grade 12s refer to a situation where your marginal revenue exceeds your marginal costs and a loss is incurred when your marginal costs exceed your marginal revenue. So let's analyze our table. At quantity 1, our marginal revenue is 30 rand, our marginal cost is 10 rand, and that means that we've earned a profit of 20 rand. At quantity 2, our marginal revenue is 30 rand, our marginal cost is 20 rand, and that means that we've earned a profit of 10 rand. At quantity 3, our marginal revenue is exactly the same as our marginal cost. When that happens, grade 12s, we refer to it as the profit maximization point. So I'm actually just going to fill that in for you, where your marginal revenue is equal to your marginal cost. That is known as profit maximization. Profit maximization grade 12s can also be referred to as the equilibrium point. So I'm going to fill in both terms so that you're familiar with both terms or equilibrium point. Okay. At quantity 4, my marginal revenue is 30 rand, my marginal cost is 40 rand and that means that a loss has been incurred of 10 rand. At quantity 5, my marginal revenue is 30 rand, my marginal cost is 50 rand, and that means that a loss has been incurred of 20 rand. So let's fill in our graph. We're going to start off by filling in our marginal revenue curve. Our marginal revenue curve is perfectly elastic. In our previous lesson, we established that the reason why it's perfectly elastic is because irrespective of the quantity being demanded, the price stays exactly the same, hence it being perfectly elastic. So what I'm going to fill in now is I'm going to fill in my marginal cost curve. Okay, label it marginal cost. Let's start off also by just filling in our equilibrium. So I'm actually just going to put an E there for equilibrium point. And I'm also going to write the words profit maximization. Remember I said earlier that both of those words are interchangeable. So I'm going to be filling in both profit maximization as well as equilibrium. There we go. And let's analyze this graph now. So grade 12s, you can clearly see that at this point, my marginal costs lie below my marginal revenue. When my marginal costs lie below my marginal revenue, that means that a profit is being earned. When my marginal costs lie above my marginal revenue, as you can clearly see here, that means that a loss is being earned. So I'm going to fill that in when marginal revenue exceeds marginal costs. That is when a profit is being earned. And when my marginal costs exceed my marginal revenue, then that means a loss is incurred. So let's just look at this again. At quantities 1 and 2, my marginal costs lie below my marginal revenue, so I've earned a profit. And at quantities 4 and 5, my marginal costs lie above my marginal revenue, so that means that a loss has been incurred. Where my marginal revenue intersects with my marginal costs, this point here, that is where the equilibrium is. Equilibrium is also known as profit maximization. So what I'm doing, grade 12s, is I'm constantly looking at my marginal costs in context of my marginal revenue. If my marginal costs exceed my marginal revenue, I've incurred a loss. If my marginal costs are below my marginal revenue, then I've in fact earned a profit. 
So on this slide, I've got it all neatly typed up and I'm just going to recap it once more and summarize. At quantities one and two, my marginal revenue exceeds my marginal cost and that means that a profit is being earned. At quantity three, Quantity 3 is known as my profit maximization point. Alternatively, it's also known as the equilibrium point. It occurs where your marginal revenue is equal to your marginal costs. At quantities 4 and 5, my marginal costs exceed my marginal revenue. And that means that a loss is incurred. You should now be able to draw and explain profit maximization using the marginal revenue and marginal cost technique. Thank you very much, Matrix.